Oh, 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 it's so good to see you, no? I've got my beautiful mustache. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, anyways, some of you know that I tried the monkey tail beard out. (laughs) Then it transformed into a goatee. But with this hat, I look like a musketeer, so I shaved a goatee. Now I have a stash. Kind of rocking this whole Wyatt Earp vibe or whatever. Well, whatever. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We're going to be talking about the number 30 today. It's been on my heart. Um, It's actually January 30th today, so I had to do the video. I'm like, wait, it's the 30th? I got to do this. And on my channel, I have like 9,330 subscribers. And even went up and went back down to 30 for today. And I was hearing it all last night, 30, 30, 30. And I've seen some birthdays and some anniversaries. And this is a very special month. If you're 30 years old, happy birthday. We celebrate you. If you have a 30-year anniversary, the number is actually very important to Jesus. Um, That's when he started his ministry. That's when John the Baptist started his ministry. That's when Joseph entered the palace at 30. Okay? And I just want to celebrate what a hard worker, behind-the-scenes kind of person you are. And if you're not 30, just grab this if you need to, okay? But a lot of Christians, you know, especially, you know, uh, 30-year-olds, people who are watching, you know, you don't need a lot of accolade. You're a self-starter. You like it occasionally. But uh, helping people and doing things for people is really what drives you. But it's okay to be celebrated. I want you to know the Lord celebrates you. It's so important to Him that you're 30 or your anniversary or whatever else. Uh, One day, uh, I was working, and God was like, hey, Josh, hey, Josh. I'm like, yeah. And he uh, he put this uh, leader on my heart, and and I just felt this incredible love for this leader and what he was going through. And then later on, they posted, did I say he already? Oops, (laughs) sorry. Um, But later on, they posted, uh, you know, that they had a grandchild. And Jesus interrupted my day as a friend because he was celebrating the birth of that grandchild. And I just want you to know, we care about those things because he does, because we're made like him. We're not that creative, folks. We're made like our dad in heaven. Anyways, I want to celebrate you and bless you. 10 is an amazing number. We got to break down the number 30. It represents decades. It represents milestones. You know, there was the 10 commandments in the Bible, um, the 10 virgins. We have 10 fingers, 10 toes. You know, it's a number of perfection, but so is three. You know, the Godhead, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Jesus was raised on the third day. So was Lazarus. And I hear that for some of you as well, that God is resurrecting, bringing back from the dead uh, things and dreams. And that's kind of my case. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. But 30 is just an incredible number of completion, of starting your ministry, of going into this new era of you and you and you and you and you. Uh, But anyways... Uh, when I was 30, somebody took me out for my birthday and surprised me. It was a leader, and they, and they offered me a job. And uh, even though it was a leader doing that, I just felt that, you know, it represented the Lord. And I just kept seeing God's heart through that. And um, I actually kind of blew that opportunity. I got distracted. But this word is also for people who, you know, you maybe you've got off course or things like that. Because it's been seven years almost to the month. When, when that happened to me, which is also a number of completion, but this is also a resurrection for some of you watching in your 30s uh, for a second chance at those opportunities that maybe you passed over or that you looked over. And that's why I posted that uh, Eensy Weensy Spider. Uh, God talks to me through kids' books and songs and because there's a, a dream I want to rehatch, rebirth, and go after again. And it just blows my mind with the birthdays for you guys and anniversaries and grandkids and that God is so for us, that he wants us to go after our dreams, you know, that he, he plans to prosper us. He's, he's really on our side and, and we have to remind ourselves and encourage ourselves about that every day. Okay, so just short and sweet, once again, you're entering into a new era uh, of success, of milestones, of accomplishing your goals and your dreams. If you missed opportunities in the past, God's going to give you another chance at it. He's going to give you another go. And you can really be the best of all time. I heard that this morning. You're a hard worker. You're a go-getter. You put your head down and work. Uh, You're a self-starter. You you love to serve. You love people. And God just celebrates you, and he blesses you today. Okay? So number 30, divine completion, divine, you know, divinity, the Godhead. And 10 is perfection you know, the Ten Commandments and everything like that. So be blessed. Just want to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, and happy second chance to many of you. 
Until next time. My candlelight, it'll never fade until that day. You're what my hope's in, in a dying world. A torch that shines, a city on